setting up a kickoff is putting the ball on the tee. Zach is going to show you how to do that. All right, so when you put the ball on the tee, you're going to want to have it pretty much completely vertical this way. It gives you the perfect opportunity to hit the ball right where you want it, which is right about here. And then, uh, since it's standing up nice and vertical, you'll be able to get all the lift and power that you'd like. So now that the ball is set, you're on to the next step, which is taking your steps. Uh, this can make or break your kick. This is probably one of the most important steps. Um, you have to be able to figure those out. I already know mine, so I'm going to go ahead and walk through mine. This is uh, my righty steps. I line up on the ball, facing the way I'm going, the way I'm going to be coming from, uh, and I'm going to start with my right foot. Take 10 steps straight back. And I like to take four steps to my left, so I will be coming in from the left side, being able to kick with my right foot. You turn, face the ball, start with your right foot forward, now you're ready for the next step. Alright, for the third step, once you get in your actual steps, you need to make, take a look around the field and scan around, make sure everyone is on the field and that everyone is where they're supposed to be. You take a look at Eric here. People on the kickoff team have to make sure that they are five yards from the ball with exactly one foot on the 30. Alright, the fourth step, and possibly the most important, is making sure that you're mentally prepared to go and kick this ball. If you're ready to go kick it, you have confidence that you're going to be able to uh, make a successful kick, it's going to go where you want, it's going to go as far as you want. So take a nice deep look at the ball if you need to, have a nice deep breath, then you should be ready to go kick. Step five to the kickoff is the approach. And Tyler is going to show us how to do that. First, he's going to start off by taking slow, gradual steps to the ball and then finish with speed. All right, for this next step, Tyler's going to be coming up to make the actual contact with the ball. And when he comes up to kick it, he's going to want to hit it right around here, so just a little bit under the middle of the ball. That's what they call the sweet spot, and that's where you're going to get most of your power and lift from. All right guys, the final step for doing a kickoff is the follow through after the kick. So when you make contact with it, you're going to want to keep your head down to the ground. And you're going to be propelled a few yards in the air by the momentum you should have going through the ball. And land on your kick 